I'd like to show you how you can turn one of your favorite photographs into a jigsaw puzzle using a free online uh, jigsaw creator website. So I use something called Jiggity. So Jiggity free jigsaws. And you just Google it up and there it is there. Free online jigsaw puzzles Jiggity. Now I've already tried an account and so that's my account there. If I click on my username, my puzzles come up. I've already created a couple of jigsaw puzzles yesterday. This one here has already had 41 solves, so people have been on and solved it 41 times. And this one's had six solves. These were taken quite a long time ago, more than 15 years ago, these photos. Um, Skipton is in the Yorkshire Dales in the UK and Derwent Water is in the Lake District also in the UK. Photos, I love these photos and so I thought it was a great idea to turn them into jigsaw puzzles. I'm going to show you how to create your own jigsaw puzzle using this process. So to do that you would just go onto the site, create a username and a password and log in. Now just a tip here, I have a special Gmail account that I use for going on and creating these user accounts on all these different sites with, that you need to create accounts on to use. That way, if they ever pass on my email address to uh, third parties, then I don't get spam on my normal email address. It all comes to this email address. I also have a second SIM card for my phone that I never use for phone calls. I just pay $15 for, for the SIM card years ago. And it gives me a second phone number that I can use. Some sites require you to use a phone number to verify that you're a real person. And when that's required, I use this other phone number I have to do that. This also, uh, I believe, will save me getting unwanted phone calls on my normal phone account. So there's a couple of tips. So, okay, so we're going to create a jigsaw. And first of all, I've got this photo here that I also took at around about the same time. This is in Hawes in the Yorkshire Dales, H-A-W-E-S, Hawes, and I'm going to create a jigsaw puzzle with that. What you need to do is to find your photo, know exactly where it is on your computer, and go in and simply click, click on this create button here. And then choose the image you want to make a jigsaw puzzle out of. So I've already put it into this folder, and I'll bring it up. So there it is. Now, next step is, as you can see at the moment, it's 12 pieces. Not very challenging. So um, you can now select how many pieces you want. 432 will do. So I'll click create. And there we go. I've created a jigsaw puzzle. So what you do now, you can easily, you can save this as a private puzzle, so only you can see it. So if you had your grandchildren or a family photo that wouldn't be interesting to anybody else, and, but you want to uh, create a jigsaw puzzle with it, you can. So you would not publish it as a in, for the general public to use. So quickly, we'll just put a description in here. We have a few keywords in, so people searching for a puzzle will be able to find it. These are the search words that people might type in to find a, a location for a puzzle. So the more, the more you put in, the more likely people are to be able to find it. So I'm going to put my name in there. I'm going to publish, click the publish button. And when you do, it's going to ask for a category. So I'm just going to put in scenery. And, and because of my own photo, I own the right to this image. So there we go, so I'm going to save and publish that. And there we go. We now have a 432 piece jigsaw puzzle. And now to solve it, I'm going to click on solve puzzle. Now, an online puzzle is a lot different to a hard copy puzzle, obviously. So when you first open it up, you're going to see a mass of pieces. Now what I like to do is to click on this zoom out button 
and I'm going to go through and sort through and find all the edge pieces. I'm just going to show you my previous two photos and see what happens when you get to the end. 